guys, how's it going? Uh, today, a little bit more relaxed. Uh, I think, I guess from the word I've heard, uh, Cody is swap out his clutch today in the second gen because it's just absolutely beat. Show you guys how that's done. Uh, Matt, the one that owns the black Cummins that you've seen in the last video, he's up there right now. Andrew, I'm not really sure if he's there, but we'll see in a second. Yeah. It's like, I need a video of you and Dylan doing a burnout. Okay. <laughs> yeah, he texted me that too. I sent him one. Oh, that's why, that's why Dylan just asked me for a, he, Dylan just asked me for a burnout too. Uh, Jake's probably making an Insta collage or something. <laughs> these are my boys. Yeah, these are my friends I've never talked to and completely degraded <laughs> talk, at the strip club. <laughs> yeah, I've talked to, talk to you three different, or three times total. Take this out right here. What's that? The training jack. No, I'd leave it. <laughs> Why do you need to take it out? What? Why do you need to take it out? Well, I guess I don't. <laughs> so I'm gonna hop in the Equinox. We're gonna go get uh, some roller footages of. Uh, I fucked it up. But we're gonna go get some footage of uh, Cody's truck and Matt's truck, which is over there. My truck is uh, gonna stay right there because I don't feel like filming out the window of that, especially while I'm driving. So I'm gonna hop into this if Andrew unlocks it. Andrew, unlock, Andrew, unlock the fucking door. Yo, try not to get my roll pin in the video, though, honestly. For it's real. a fucking video. Huh? <laughs> Yo. <laughs> scumbag. <laughs> so we've been sitting here for about 10 minutes waiting for Cody to download the tune. Matt's behind us. And I think Cody's coming now, so. Uh, we'll, I'll end up rolling this edit at the end of the video. But once we're done with the edit, we are going to be coming straight back and I guess replacing Cody's clutch. Uh, it's probably going to be an all-day thing. All right, so we just got done doing the uh, the rollers with uh, Cody and Matt's truck. But uh, for now, we're <laughs> the plan was to do the whole uh, clutch swap on Cody's truck, but now it's red hot. So we got to wait a little bit and get back to you after it's cooled down. So it's like 5 o'clock. Shit. So it's like five o'clock in the afternoon and we're finally getting around to doing this. Uh, that that whole edit process took forever and we've just been lazy. So Cody's pulling his truck in right now and we'll uh, we'll take care of that real quick. You trust me to work on your truck? Because you guys can work on the interior and I'll pull the drive shaft. Dude, I'm about to turn the heat up. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to be pulling this uh, Cody 6 speed out to put a dual disc in it because his single disc is shot. So we're going to start off by taking off all the boots and stuff and then pull the drive shafts. $6,000 box. Look at this shit, man. Three ratchets. You got some. I don't even know what half this shit is. Empty. <laughs> Empty. Empty. Wow, he got some fucking crows for it. Couple nice impacts with missing socket from Harbor Freight. Empty. The box. just the box. <laughs> a torque wrench. Bolt. And a fucking bolt. Thank God you went and spent the money on some fucking uh, three hundred dollars yeah, worth of ice grips. Yeah. Yeah. Like fifty bucks. Five thousand dollar box. All your tools in a fucking twenty dollar box. Like <laughs> oh my god. One uh one little hack. If you do by chance have rock lights, which a lot of people do now, just. Turn them on while you're working underneath the truck. Yeah, and you're golden. Oh, I gotta tear out these drive shafts, take these cross members out, and get them bell housing bolts off. To get to put the clutch in. It's gonna be easy on this since she's rust free. Well, we'll get at it.
smash the strap it on. Just drop right. it out. You, you, you guide, you guide that over to me. No, I will. That's what I'm gonna do right now. You guide that over to me. I gotta take the hydro out too. And then I gotta disconnect the uh, four wheel drive one. Go all the way around and then just strap it to itself. Move it to the center. Actually, here, just so it can't slide off. Let me get around that so it actually. There you go. Right? Yeah. Or 16, I thought. 16. Mm -hmm. You want to hold that up, and someone? Do the impact because it's just going to turn. I can't. I can't. <laughs> What's three? You think three inch will break it? I'll hold it. There. because we cannot move this at all because then the engine's going to tilt forward. Well, you if you, hey, if you pick up on the edge, yeah, say exactly, that exact thing I'm thinking. You, you gain clearance. You yep. gain enough to pull it out. Yep. So yes. jack the ass ends up. In this nice ass garage, but we don't have a f lift. God damn it. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Yeah. Come on, baby. We'll leave that. Holy f <laughs> That's all clutch. Where is the clutch? Let's take a peek at that. I don't think I want to. You guys tell me what you think. <laughs> no, it's a single disc. It did have a clutch in it, for sure. It had a lock in it. See that? It's not a stock clutch. <laughs> clutch is fucking fried. Ooh. <laughs> oh, dude, it's about gone. Feel the groove in that. I'm sure she does. That. They never grooved it when they put a new one in it. But look at that heat soak right there. Here, go right down on your lap. I'm good. You got it? Yep. Rear main is just seeping, but I wouldn't even change it. It looks, it looks good. So, I bought this truck, what, a little over a year ago. And ever since then it's had, I mean, turbo injectors, tuning, and apparently it's not a stock clutch, which I thought it was, but it's still a single disc and it's slipped like, like hell ever since I've had it. So, I sacked up over Black Friday and bought a dual disc for it, a Valiar, six, what is it, 650 horse? 650, yeah. Upgraded, yeah, upgraded hydros, everything like that. And here we are, we just pull it out. I've never done a standard transmission in my life, so glad we invited a little <laughs> old Matty D over. Get he her painted like up it. and shut back in there and be able to do third gear burnout. Right I'm gonna take it apart and actually like show like the difference oh. of it. So right now, Matt and Cody are gonna be taking it, apart the uh, the dual See, disc the and throwing the, uh, the flywheel and, the and right they're, uh, oh, they're getting ready so to rip it apart right now. Show you exactly what that looks like inside there. Yeah. No, I mean, back. we remember to put it back in. 
That's the folder plate and then this. That's not directional. All right, so the, the clutch report in Cody's truck is a Valair uh, dual disc clutch street, like for 650 horsepower. That's, whole, that's this whole yeah, this, dual disc right, setup here right here. The advantage of this is uh, you got double the, about double the wear you got in a stiffer pressure plate. Uh, you see the old That's one. the pressure plate. Yeah, pressure plate, clutch disc. Uh, yeah, folder plate, there we go. Another clutch disc and then flywheel. And this just has a flywheel, clutch disc, and pressure plate. This one can hold obviously a lot more power. So if you have, say, like if you're putting 100%, say that truck makes, I don't know, 500. Yeah, I'd say 500, 500 550. 550 yeah. Something like that. You're putting all that power to one plate instead of dispersing across two plates that can, I mean, their friction pads are probably a hell of a lot yeah, stronger. Yeah, they're, they're ceramic, I think. Yeah, they're that that is a that's ceramic. fiber, these are ceramic. Right. So these are better for heat, better for power, better for wear. A good representation on the yeah. difference between a dual disc and a single disc. Thank you, man. <laughs> Flywheel torque specs are 102 foot pounds. That's just an impact and some lot tight. It's my no, torque it's spec. Absolutely not. I'm just kidding. You got a torque spec. $650. Yeah, we'll use it. Is that your snap on? It's way smaller. Oh, no, it's max. Oh, yeah, it is a lot smaller. I hate the digital ones. Me too. I wish I had. So Cody has the uh, transmission out. It's it's sitting up right right now. We got the uh, transfer case off of it. He's planning on painting it. He's not sure what color yet, but we don't have any paint. Uh, he's, he's getting all the uh, rust off of it or surface rust off right now. Clean it with a couple wire brushes. Who said that? What are you guys doing over here? We got the whole coronavirus going on, and come to find out, we want to paint this train so it's pretty. You don't have any masking tape. No, but we got Packers tape. So, uh. It's <laughs> <laughs> actually nice because, like, you can get it right now. <laughs> uh oh. Oh, I saw The ball is just lost in there. So that's it for today. This is going to end up being a two part project. We got the transmission painted. Uh, come back tomorrow morning and finish it back off. We've been working on it about, what, six hours? Yeah, it hasn't been straight working. It's just been more, more or less just around. But I'll get the camera back out tomorrow and we'll uh, make a part two. And we'll, we're going to end up throwing that transmission in. And tomorrow we have a couple of things planned. Uh, we should be getting a car or something tomorrow, and you guys will be able to see that red Cummins again that we destroyed uh, a couple days ago. So we'll, uh, we'll see how that goes. All right, guys, so we'll be back tomorrow. We'll uh, throw this transmission, and uh, see you soon.